This is a 45 years old female with the history of menorrhagia referred to rule out any abnormality in the pelvic region, especially the uterus. In front of you is the uterus in longitudinal section. It measures approximately 11.7 in length and uh, 6.0 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. The normal diameter should not exceed more than 11 in length and uh, not should not exceed more than 5 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter. Here it is 6 centimeters, so the uterus is enlarged both in length and in anterior posterior diameter. Here we see Here we are seeing a small cystic area uh, with no posterior acoustic enhancement. This is the vaginal layer. And now this is the cervix and this is the Nebothian cyst. This is the anterior uh, wall. This is the fundal region. This is the posterior wall, the cervix. And we can see that the myometrium in the anterior segment is appearing normal. This is the endometrial canal. This is the black line in the center is the endometrial canal. And uh, this is the cervix, uh, sorry, this is the fundal region. And uh, this, there is a inhomogeneous solid mass seen in the fundal region. That measures on approximately four into four centimeters. And now, what important is to see that uh, if it uh, has any pressure effect or shows any mass effect on the endometrial canal. Now, the endometrial canal. If you see that. It is almost encroaching upon the endometrial canal. Let's have a better view. Now, this is the endometrial canal. This line we were seeing is the endometrial canal, this one, and the mass is absolute, adjacent to the posterior wall of the endometrial canal. This is the fibroid in the posterior wall of the uh, uterus, this being the, now this is the uterus, anterior wall, and uh, this is the posterior wall, here lies the fundus which is obscured by the gases. This is the fibroid, the area that has been measured approximately 4.7 into 4.1 centimeters and this is the fibroid. Yes. Now let's see it in transfer section. Here we see. Now this is the transfer section of the uterus and you can see the It's very demarcated. This is the mass, the fibroid. It's inhomogeneous in appearance. There is no posterior wall shadowing. So this is an, uh, a fibroid with no calcification within it and the uterus is alive in depth. 7.2 should not exceed more than 5. So in transfer section, the fibroid 
can be seen in the posterior wall of the uterus and uh, at, at, almost adjacent to the central endometrial canal. The endometrial canal is clear and it's uh, definitely giving pressure effect on the endometrial canal and this is the cause for her menorrhagia. There is no satellite lien. Now you see the other. This is the cervical canal. This is the cervix. This is the anterior segment. This is the posterior segment. Fundus is rather obscured by the bubble gases and uh, though normal. And the, this is the endometrial canal, this line is the endometrial canal and this is the fibroid which is almost giving a mass effect on the central clear endometrial canal. This is the urinary bed. This is the uterus. And this is the fibroid in the posterior segment of the uterus and it's adjuting upon the endometrial canal. So this is a case study of uh, uterine fibroid that is in a mural indication and with mass effect or pressure effect on the central clear endometrial canal into